Hello and welcome to another edition of Stockwatch. So first and foremost, happy Thanksgiving to those that are celebrating the event and that you're staying safe and having a good time around this holiday period. So whilst we've seen a lot of positive momentum recently in the last couple of weeks over the vaccination trial results that have come into place and hit the headlines, I've been looking at a few stocks that have not been doing so well during these financially difficult periods. And one of them in particular is the French multinational food production company Danone. Uh, this week they reported that they will have to cut as many as 2,000 jobs uh, and that will be up to 25% of their positions in their global headquarters as well. So this is a very, very significant move in their attempt to try and claw back a bit of their budget deficit. So they've said that they wish to generate or hope to generate at least 1 billion euros worth of savings by 2023. So they've got a two year period to try and claw back that kind of money. Uh, so as part of the reorganization, Danone will also reduce levels of decision, ma decision making across the company from its global headquarters and go into giving the local supermarkets and also local retailers that more of a client friendly touch. And this will, is, is a hope that they'll save even more money uh, as consumer demands grow in these particular areas. So um, the executives said in July that they're going to announce some cost cutting measures. They've replaced their CFO as well as they battle against the tide to stem the second wave of the coronavirus and possibly even a third wave if we're going to 2021 in the same position because who knows for sure when these vaccinations are going to take place and how much they will remedy. And on the flip side of that coin, I've been looking at General Electric because their shares have actually gone to their highest levels in more than eight months this week alone after analysts have lifted their rating on the stock citing a turnaround under their CEO, Larry Culp. So a stronger balance sheet, improving industrial cash flows has been the catalyst for the move with a reduction in the overall debt by roughly $13.3 billion. So quite a significant reduction in their debt. Uh, shares in the company were almost 8% higher alone. And this is since March the 5th. And overall this year, it's been 58% higher. So that's a very, very significant move if you think of all the negative downturn that we had uh, from March and April when the first wave of the virus struck. So let's take a quick look at Danone. So we've seen the detrimental downturn as we've seen a lot of stocks and the attempted upturn. But what we haven't seen in a lot of stocks recently is the price has continuously fallen further, further and further downwards. And now I'm seeing, if we're just zooming a bit more on the areas of interest, I'm seeing a bit more of a downturn and it's literally fallen into this descending channel here at the moment and even though we've had a couple of breaks out of the channel we're still looking that it's going to remain and this is a very very significant detrimental time for the company so as they try and claw back some of the deficit that they've had over the course of the last six months we're going to see if it's going to come into fruition if they still if they start making profits so at the moment what i'm looking at is the uh, candlesticks at the moment, they're hitting a bit of a resistance on this upper trend. Sorry, the upper border of the descending channel. And also the Ichimoku indicator is making a nice resistance for it as well. If I just expand that a little bit further backwards, we can see now it's hitting this confluence zone. So if we are going to see a bit more of bias on the upside, I'll be looking in the next few sessions if it can reach these recent peaks that we had on the upper level of the channel that we're looking at now. If not, then I fully expect prices probably to start dropping down to the mean and then probably even going lower into the lower channel. At the moment, I'm not seeing much on the momentum indicator itself. I'm gonna to have to wait another couple of days to see if momentum is gonna exhaust. We might see some hidden um, divergences on the indicators, uh, maybe an RSI and other indicators as well to see if we have a oversold product or undersold, which will be significant if we're gonna if it's gonna go up or down. Prices are currently trading in the conversion and baseline of the Ichimoku indicator as well, which is considered to suggest a breakout. So I'll be looking in the next few days if we can probably exit this upper channel, be released from the cloud, and make another move up to the previous peak. But it's looking a little bit unlikely. But we'll see in the next few trading sessions what we can get out of that information that's come out of um, of the company itself. So let's just take a quick look on uh, General Electrics now. 
if I can find it, that it is. <laughs> and here it is. So again, with General Electric's complete role reversal from, from a lot of other companies that we've seen having detrimental downturns. There's a nice curvature on the upside. And now we're looking to see if momentum is going to start waning. It's looking like it's reached a bit of a plateau on the indicator itself. But on the upside, I would say that's a nice buy position at the moment, unless we get a bit of exhaustion and a reversal happens in the next few days. But as we said before, a lot of the headlines now are the fact that the vaccinations are coming into play. We're going to see as Q4 comes to a close next month, if these momentum can be uh, can keep going and if we can get to pre pandemic levels, which would be quite significant as well going forward in the next month. So that's all from the stopwatch today. Thank you very much for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to add them to the video and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Have a great trading day ahead and bye for now.